Jane, this is for you. It says, if you object to the judge having additional income above his salary, should the county commissioners and other elected officials be required to dispose of their ranching interest and other sources of income? I said all along that um, I believe that Kirk and I represent a clear choice for the voters. There's nothing wrong or illegal with him having a practice on the side. However, it's my personal belief that it takes him away from a full-time commitment to the business of Mills County. I know in my office, I find more than enough to do. It takes me more than 40 hours a week to accomplish what I need to accomplish in my office. And I feel it must be the same way in the judge's office. And that there are a lot of things that we're not, that we're dropping the ball on because we don't have someone there full time. As far as the commissioners go, uh, again, you know, we're in a, a little bit of a flux with the Unified Road and Bridge System. And that has yet to be resolved whether the commissioners view their job as a full time or a part time job. And that has certainly even though their responsibilities have changed since we have a road administrator, they have not reduced their salary or and feel their responsibilities have not diminished. However, if we transition fully to a unified road and bridge system, the road administrator is supposed to be responsible for the roads. And so that will be a change in their responsibilities. And that's something the court needs to address. Uh, it's an issue that the people have spoken on, and the court is responsible for implementing what the people have voted on. Um, if someone has a side business and it does not take them away from the county during business hours, that is a different issue. By serving as a court appointed attorney, that is in direct conflict with county business hours, and it takes the judge out of the county during business hours for the county. That's a little different thing than ranching on the side and doing that in the evenings and on the weekends. Kurt, who has an everyday oversight of the courthouse project? Who is the project manager and who is in charge of day-to-day -day inspections and oversight? I guess that's the courthouse restoration yeah, that, that, project that they're talking about. That, that's what I'm assuming, and that's kind of a combined job. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Listen, this is just my own personal view on things. If there's not one person in Mills County that's expendable, and the more people we have looking over things, I think it's the better because you get more input. So the, the way it's set up right now, of course, uh, J.C. Stoddard is the primary contractor. Uh, Roy, I can't pronounce his last name. He's not here, but Roy. Uh, <laughs> it, Roy. It, and I should be able to. I know it's a German name, but I can't. I should be able to pronounce it, but I can't. Uh, is the project superintendent working under J.C. Stoddard. Now, uh, working along with Roy uh, is Carolee Nunn, our architect, uh, and uh, Tom, her husband. I mean, so they're both intimately involved with it. Now, from the county standpoint, uh, I'm there every day. I don't inspect it every day because, it's like most construction projects, sometimes things don't happen every day that you have to go and see. Uh, Bob is on site all the time. He acts kind of like my liaison uh, because while I am involved in other court functions, he can be there and answering questions for the for the superintendent. Uh, Roy and I talk on a almost on a daily basis, and then if there's things that need to be determined, things that need to be looked at, uh, then we take care of it at that point in time. So th th there's not anything that that I'm not that can say that it, it's one person. It, it's everybody working in conjunction to make it happen. Are inspections done? I'm sorry. Are, they, are inspections done at all on the work? In oh, well, on, a, on a regular basis. Okay. I mean, the, the mm -hmm. safety inspections, the wiring, the electrical, the plumbing, uh, the uh, the HVAC, uh, structural engineers. I mean, all of those are inspections. Now, if the question is, do I go over, <coughs> excuse me, and physically inspect those items? No, because I don't know what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if I looked at a wiring panel, I could say, yeah, that's a wiring panel. Uh, so we have people that, that go out and do that to make sure that the work is done, and that includes the architect. Now, as far as the overall, overall project and the way it's progressing and the, the problems that are encountered not only with the construction but in coordinating with the TX or the Texas Historical Commission, uh, then, yeah, that's my primary responsibility. This is for both the judge candidates. <coughs> 
Give an example of when you have had, have had direct responsibility for preparing a budget, not overseeing a budget. When I worked for a bank in San Antonio, I was vice president of operations, and that means I was over everything except lending. Uh, I, as that, I had to prepare the budget for the whole bank, including the lending areas. I did have some input from the loan officers, but I had to prepare that budget myself and submit that to our board for approval. Okay. I've been preparing budgets since 1977. Uh, I worked, I was a CFO for four major corporations during that time, uh, prior to going to law school. Uh, so I had the ultimate responsibility of doing the budget work as well as budget compliance during that same time. Uh, after having become an uh, and practicing attorney, uh, I sat on the board of three different corporations uh, that, although we didn't put the, the budget together, the nuts and bolts of the, the, nuts and bolts of the budget uh, together, uh, we did have the ultimate responsibility for making sure that that budget was in compliance with the needs of the corporation. So I've been doing this for 30 years. The things are the four are against the accounting unit system as it currently exists. Kirk? Well, the, the, that's a question that's hard to answer because it doesn't matter personally whether I'm for it or against it. Uh, the people of Mills County had a vote. Uh, there was a petition passed. It, it qualified as a valid petition to call for a vote, and the people of Mills County spoke. Mm -hmm. So as the judge and in working with the commissioners, we've done everything uh, that we can do to implement the will of Mills County. Okay. I agree with her, and that's not the judge's decision, whether or not for or against the entire voting merit system. Something was put to a vote, and the people have spoken. I would disagree, however, that we've done everything possible to implement that system. Um, if, if people change their mind at some point and reverse it back again, it would be the decision of the court to implement, it would be their, their purpose to implement what the people have said. At this point, we have a unified road and bridge system, and I think that we need to go ahead and finish implementing that system. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is for the judges' candidates. Is the multi-precinct one form and system saving Mills County money? Is that the unified road system? I assume. <laughs> Probably not at this stage, uh, but we're, we're in the infancy of it, uh, and I think we're getting to the point that it will. I mean, we, we started this roughly a year ago. Uh, we're going from a historical four, or four precinct system, and we're now having to consolidate into one, and there's a lot of work involved in that. If you just don't wake up the next day and say, okay, we have a unified system, this is what's happening. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that are going that, that have changed. There's a lot of things that are going to have to be changed. Uh, so at this stage, I, I can't honestly say that it saved any money, uh, but I think it has the potential to save the county money. Jane, do you have any comments? I, I would agree with that. I think at this point, we have actually kind of have both systems in place. We have not changed our commissioner's salary structure or anything else. We have the expense for road administrators. However, I do see that there are some economies, perhaps, in consolidating the equipment and the road hands to work together on some projects. And I think that in the future, if we learn to establish some priorities for that road administrator and put together a budget based on those priorities, then we can certainly see some savings. Okay. 